I am here with Blake Passmore, the author of Climb Glacier National Park, and he has been assisting me today in the discovery of the trail to Dutch Lakes. Um, Dutch Lakes is from the inside North Fork Road, and it wanders up Dutch Creek and pops out onto Dutch Lakes. That's, that's the name. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a soggy day. It's barely drizzle, drizzling on us right now um, and has been a, quite the adventure. If you're not interested in adventure, then I would not recommend this hike for you. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool trail though. Um, it's not, not the easiest to find all the time, but for the most part, I don't think you'd get lost if you pay attention. But um, it starts out in a, uh, in kind of a fire area. And uh, so it's, for the most part, it's open and you're looking um, south on Camas Ridge and then you're looking to your north looking at Dutch Ridge and uh, that's the drainage that you walk up and uh, so as you as you head up there more and more you you kind of get where it starts to go between the burned areas and forested areas which is pretty typical for this side of the park and uh, you'll end up crossing your first creek and depending upon the season will depend upon how deep it is but um, I think any season you probably will have to um, either just walk right through it and get wet shoes or go ahead and do the whole creek shoe thing. Um, but anyways, but yeah, you keep working your way up and as you're going um, up into this drainage, first of all, it's a, it gains a little bit more elevation than you might just think looking at the map. You end up doing was like about 2,000 yep. or so. Yeah, about 2,000 vertical on the day. And, uh, but uh, as you go, it starts to get into more of that um, damper uh, forest as you, as you start to gain some elevation and um, get ready for a total of four creek crossings. And uh, one of them is kind of interesting because it looks like Dutch Creek got a little bit rerouted and uh, it, it got rerouted onto the trail. So the trail is basically a creek bed. And uh, this is part of the trip where route finding is important. Be looking as always in route finding for a little flashing um, and also old cut logs because that will definitely help you in this situation because the trail goes down to the creek and then disappears. Um, but Dutch Creek is real pretty. You get to see it kind of cascading around and it's on American Dipper playing in there. And so it's just just kind of a, a really, really pretty place actually. And of course in the fall, the place is just a glow with um, a bunch of the underbrush looking all pretty. So anyways, but you keep working up and then you come to this crazy steep section, which is um, the switchbacks and you gain a lot of elevation in a little bit of time. It is very much a goat trail feel. So um, get ready to sweat for a little tiny bit <laughs> as you uh, get up into that. But then after that, you kind of work your way up onto the shelf and cross the creek for the last time. And you come out to these just really cool alpine shrubby areas, very moosey and elky. And I will say that there has been loads of bear scat and tracks all over the place. Although, of course I say this and I end up seeing stuff usually later on, but at this point we haven't seen anything really bigger than a grouse. We've seen a few grouse today. Anyway, so yeah, but then you bust out onto the lake and it's just a really cool lake. You can see um, if you're familiar with the Peak Longfellow, there's Paul Bunyan's cabin and that looks just really sweet. And uh, Mr. Climb Glacier National Park was looking at that very lustfully and he wanted to go walk up to it. And uh, anyways, but yeah, the lake is real pretty. Um, kind of a funny little side note. I think when they were making the sign, somebody messed up. So they just flipped it over and started doing it right on the other side. And uh, it's actually kind of funny that there was actually a trail sign there that told you how many meters the lake was at. Anyway, all that being said, crazy hike. Um, like it's, you know, it's, it's definitely overgrown a lot, a lot of places. So, you know, you kind of swimming through some stuff and kind of feeling out the trail with your feet. Um, definitely, there's probably going to be downfall no matter what time of year you do it. Um, earlier season, going to be muddy. So, um, I know I'm really selling it. It's actually a really cool hike and I really enjoyed it, um, even with the rain and all that kind of stuff. But you definitely have to put your, your adventure pants on and go kill it. So, anyways, that's Dutch Lakes and this is the crazy North Fork of Glacier National Park. Well, we're back at the trailhead. One thing that I did want to make a note is um, the trailhead is really difficult to find and uh, it's goofy and I don't like that because 
I think the trailhead shouldn't be super difficult to find. Anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to um, go on from the inside North Fork Road where Dutch Creek is. It's just north of that, right where there's a bend in the road, and you'll see a couple of really big cottonwoods. And um, you know, once again, I always say if you have a GPS, use it. If if you have some topo software, because all that stuff really helps out. I'll try and put. Um, a waypoint at the bottom of my blog entry for this so you can kind of have an idea. It's not that, it's not super, super difficult, but you definitely, you know, just something to, to have so you can find out where in the heck I start walking.